Aloha kako. Welcome to our Ohana Hula Saturdays. My name is Kumu Kanoi. This is ugh, my son. This is Eames Kalaniakea Williams. I was on vacation this week, and so I miss this guy a lot. So we're very happy to be here for Hula today. Uh, lots to do. We're, we've been working on Hene Hene Kowaka, which is a um, classic Hawaiian song that a lot of us know, but not too many of us knew the hula for. So we created a little something to share with you. Uh, but we are going to run this class like our normal Saturday class and share a little bit of our chants and prayers and then a little bit about the new verse that we're doing. Also, we'll review the verses that we did earlier. But um, if you're brand new to this, welcome. Um, I'm glad that you joined us. I think we might have a little bit smaller class because I forgot to post that we were going to have a class today. So if you made it here, that means you're one of our diehard um, number one top fans. So we're, we're so thankful for you being here. And um, yeah, let's get started. I think it's time. my welcome back so every saturday we start our classes the same way when i was growing up taking hula from my kumu le momi e maldonado we always started the same way start with chants and prayers and basics and then we get into the hula so we're trying to kind of replicate a little bit of that here for you online on our facebook classes and so we're going to start with what i always begin with which is our anthem this is hawaii pono e of course written by king david kalakawa who was in charge of the lyrics and the music which was written ahead of time in fact a few years before Kalakaua got his hands on it. Um, Henry Berger, the bandmaster of the Royal Hawaiian Band, he composed this melody under the name Hymn to Kamehameha e Kahi. So actually to a totally different king. <laughs> but here we go. This is Hawaii Pono i. We're going to do all three verses and the chorus alternating back and forth. Okay, so Pali Kekua, make your back straight like a cliff. Mahina Kealo, your face shines like the moon. Hawaii Pono i. Hawaii pono i nana i komo i kalani ali i ke ali i makua lani e kame ha me. Na kawa e pale me ka i he Hawaii i pono i na na i na li i na pua muli ko na po ki i Makua lani e kamehameha e na kawa e pale me ka i he Hawaii i pono i e ka Mahalo Nui for that. So, 
Hawaii Pono E starts us off, and immediately after that, we love to begin to share our aloha with all of you. So before we do our Oli Aloha or Aloha chant, we want to know who is joining us. Now, I don't know how many of you have been watching the Olympics, but you know, that's a time for all of the whole world to get together and compete against one another in sports. Now, this hula class, I feel like has some of that same flavor because people come from all around the world, but we're not competing. We're actually working together to preserve the hula. So let's see who has come for our parade of, of uh, worlds, parade of nations today. We have, of course, Uncle Frank and Auntie Mary from Kaleponi. Aloha no e Uncle Frank. We also have Coco Coco representing Mexico. Aloha e Coco Coco. We have Yue Kale Wong, and she is from Frankfurt, Germany. So aloha e Yue. Another friend in Germany. Also, we have Angelica, and we have Doggy Hoggy from Germany. So Germany is well represented just between the three of you. Yes? Got a question? How many from each country? Yeah, and like see who and aloha. Oh, Eames wants to make a little friendly competition here. So far, Germany is in the lead with three hula participants in our hula ohana class. You can go ahead and share this with your friends and tell them, hey, jump on, put a little comment about our country because this is a competition. Well, it's actually, we just want to have more friends. <laughs> okay, Patricia is representing the United States of America. She is over in Massachusetts. Aloha, e Patricia. Jacqueline Honebear Weiss from Catalonia. I don't even know where that is on the map. I have to look it up, Jacqueline. I'm going to look it up, I promise. I'm sorry, but Catalonia <laughs> is represented. Veronica, another friend from Mexico City. Aloha, Veronica. Oh, oh, here comes Mexico. Laura Puente Marino from Mexico City. Aloha, no. Yvonne McGreevy, one more for the U.S. In St. Petersburg, Florida. Jane Oshita. All right, Georgia. That's in the U.S. too, I know that much. Peachtree, Georgia. The USA is, is gaining here. Very, very good. Okay, so I think we might have a few more friends joining us, but we have, I think, if you count us, I think we might have four from the US and three from Mexico and three from Germany. Oh my gosh, it's neck and neck, you folks. It's neck and neck. It, this is almost as exciting as the Olympics, <laughs> but not. Okay. <laughs> but it's All right. So we are going to greet one another, not in competition, but in aloha. Of course, aloha means hello, goodbye, I love you, but it means so much more. This chant, which was written by Kumu Pilahi Paki, spells it out. This is exactly how you can live with aloha. To point out just a few, this one right here, lo kahi a kulike. Lo kahi means to live as one, to work together as one, and stand together against or for what we believe in. Olu olu kamana o to have good thoughts. Ha kokulana to be humble, not to bend our knees, but you know, to be humble. Ahonu yalana kila to have patience. So akahe na Hawaii, all the people of Hawaii and all of the lovers of Hawaii. Let's do our oli aloha by Pilahi Paki. Oli aloha. Akahe na Hawaii. Lo kahia kulike Olu olu kamana o Ha a ha kokulana A ho nu yalana kila Aloha Mahalo for that. The whole while I was thinking about our friend from Catalonia out there, and I just imagine she's going to get all her friends, and all of a sudden there's going to be like an influx of Catalonians. And <laughs> so we're so happy to have you all with us today. At this time, we move on to a set of prayers. So let's know, Ilalo. Go ahead and have a seat. My kumu auntie Le would always have us noho, sit down for our prayers. So here is our first prayer that we're going to do. This is our Hawaiian doxology, and there are two verses. The first one is the one more commonly known, which of course was um, translated by Hiram Bingham, who you see right here. 
<laughs> this is Hiram Bingham. The first uh, verse is his. The second verse, which is right there, <laughs> uh, was written by a friend of ours, Kumu Haunani Bernardino, who before she passed hoped that more people would learn this verse because she felt that the doxology was too short. It was over too soon, and she wanted for us to sit in this moment of um, gratitude and prayer just a little longer. So here are both verses of Hawaiian doxology. Ho'onani pa. Ho'onani kamakua ma. Thank you for that. Our next prayer is done in the kahoa hoa style. The word hoa means friend, and this is definitely my friend, uh, <laughs> special friend, aka my son. So in the kahoa hoa style, one person is the first friend, or the mea alaka'i, the leader, and the second person is the second friend, or the follower. So we have lead or follow, also known as call and response. So, e kea kua pa. E kea kua Mahalo no, Mahalo no, Mahalo ya oi, Mahalo ya oi, No kea la, No kea la, Ah mene, Ah mene, Thank you for that. Now this prayer says, Mahalo no keyala. Thank you for this day. And we always say how beautiful it is here at our home. We're coming to you live from our home, our halal, here in the Valley of Nu'uwanu on the island of O'ahu here in Hawaii. Um, and it is still a beautiful day, but we always like to ask you, Pehea kianila. So how is the weather. The word pehea, of course, means how or how is, how stay, um, how's it. Pehea, kianila. Kianila means the, the, the movement of the weather or the movement of the day. So kianila is the weather. Pehea means how's it. So e eems, pehea kianila. How is the weather today? Uh, wait, I cannot. Wait. It's, try yeah. look out there. Yeah. How is it? Okay. Yeah, okay. Hela o malu malu kei. Ai, hela o malu malu kei. It is a cloudy day. So you take that blank that you see in the answer and you're going to just insert the weather phenomenon into that place. Now, if it's nighttime where you are, like I'm not sure what time it is in Catalonia, but if it's nighttime, you would say he po blank kei. Or if it's daytime, then hey la blank kei So like you saw, it is a little bit of a cloudy day. <clears throat> Maybe that's why I have a little froggy in my throat. <laughs> but hey la o malu malu kei Let us know how the weather is for you, where you are living. No matter what, we're still thankful that we're here today with you. And it, it is a beautiful day, no matter what it looks like outside, because we're here together, right? Okay. Now, we could use a little more sun. We want to have a nice, beautiful, sunshiny day. So we're going to move on to our next chant, which is called Ealae. Ala means to wake up. So Ealae is a wake-up song, but not for humans. It's a wake-up song for the La. What is the La? The sun. You got it. Exactly. So the sun 
as it rises up, we do this chant to help it along its path. We're gonna do a little pattern with our hands. Upoho is the cupped hands, and the pa'i is gonna be a flat hand. Just like Eames just said, you'll get two upoho and then a pa'i. Let's try that pattern. Upoho, upoho, pa'i. Let's chant e ala e, ready, go. E ala e, kala i ka hiki na, i ka moana, ka moana ho ho nu, pi i ka leva, ka leva nu u, i ka hiki na, aya kala, e ala e. Very good, let's stop right there. The next time through, we usually do it three times. The second time, let's go ahead and do some descriptive hand motions because e ala e means to wake up, and then we're gonna talk about the sun. So try and follow along with our hands as we do. Some descriptive hand motions, not quite hula, more just kind of like a hand game, okay? E ala e, second time, and pop. E ala e, kala i ka hiki na. I kamo ana, kamo ana ho ho nu. Pi i kaleva, kaleva nu u. I ka hiki na, ai akala. Wake up, e ala e. Very good. Okay, let's go back to our upoho and pa'i to finish it off. We always do this one three times. So here we go. One more time, upoho, upoho, pa'i. E ala e. Last time. E ala e, kala i ka hiki na, i ka moana, ka moana ho ho nu, pi i ka leva, ka leva nu u, i ka hiki na, ai a kala, e ala e. Nice job. Did it work? Did the sun come out a little bit more for us? Let's look outside the window. Oh, I see a little bit more blue down there by the ocean. A tiny little bit more. All right. Well, we'll take it. We'll take it. Hope it's a, a wonderful day for you out where you are. Let us know. We always love to check in with our friends around the world. Okay. At this time, we're going to do what is called a ho mai. This chant repeats that phrase a ho mai over and over, and it's almost like a mantra. I was on the island of Lanai with my husband, Eames Daddy, Uncle Luke, who's behind the camera over there, and we did a lot of meditating this week <laughs> meditation and yoga so yoga. Uh, <laughs> this eho mai is perfect for that it helps us to just focus our minds our hearts our bodies our souls everything on the intention which is to learn about the melee that we're going to share with you today so let's do eho mai three times through each time is going to modulate a pitch eho mai E ho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na a me a huna no e a o na mele e ho o mai e ho o mai e ho o mai e ho mai ka ike mai luna mai e o na a me a huna no e a o na mele Mahalo. Was that three times? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I go into a trance. I don't keep track. So I just count on you. When you stop, I stop. You stop, I stop, we stop. Okay, anyways, that was Eho Mai. Right now, we're going to move on to our Ipu work. So for our Ipu, you can go ahead and grab your Ipu. Now, the Ipu is the hollowed out gourd, a cousin to the pumpkin and the squash, the kabocha maybe, who knows. Um, and we always use a little pad in front of us. Now this pad, for those of you that don't know, it doesn't have to look exactly like this. You see mine has a fringe. Eames doesn't have a fringe. Some people just, oh yeah, you can see the carpet inside of his because I forgot to sew it closed because I was being lazy. Um, oops, sorry. But the, the point of this little pad is to protect the ipu 
from hitting too hard against the ground because the ipu is not indestructible as, as we have seen uh but the ipu needs to have a little bit of protection between the ground and you want it to have a nice cunny so don't make it too thick you want to still be able to hear the sound of the ipu yes sir Well, we have a carpet down here. Now, the Ims was asking, since we have carpet down on the ground, do we even need a pole? Could we do it without it? The, the thing is, we're not only protecting it from touching um, any ground surface. We're also protecting it, um, keeping it clean, because the ipu is like a little human, a little baby. It takes nine months to grow um, from the flower to full size. And so we walk with our bare feet on this ground, just like you wouldn't, you know, eat off of this ground because we put our feet on it. We don't want to put our ipu on the ground. So even though there is carpet here, since this is the carpet that we walk on all day, every day with our toe jammy feet um we need a little something to protect it so you could even put you know since this is um this is carpet we could even just put a fabric down just a thin fabric right. to yeah. cover it from our our toe jams is basically <laughs> what it's for okay so but that was a good question because we do have carpet here why would you have double carpet that's why good question Okay, so Mele Ipu Heke Ole, let's go ahead and fashion our Ipu using this song, which reminds us what we need to do to make an Ipu. Hanavao Ika Ipu Heke Ole, Pa. Hanavao Ika Ipu Heke Ole, Scoop it out. Ika Ipu Heke Ole, Sand. Hanavao Ika Ipu Heke Ole, Dip in Ocean. Ika Papa Hana no Eo Hana Ho. Hana ho ika ipu heke ole ika ipu scoop the guts heke ole sand it Hana ho ika ipu heke ole kuku ika papa Hana no eo and stop very good now at the end of that mele ipu heke ole we do a beat that's called the kuku beat and this is one of our four beats that we practice um kuku being the one on the very bottom down there kuku is a u u u tete every time you get the u you're gonna hit on the pad or the pole and the tete is gonna be with your hands now i'm mirroring you so my left hand i mean your left hand should be holding the ipu your right hand should be paing hitting on the side oh yeah Ims does it the opposite way just to throw you off okay so let's try the kuku beat that's the one on the bottom there u u Utete, are you ready? Set? Here we go. It's a u u u te te u u u te te u u u te te u u and stop. Now you may notice that Eames is doing a special move where every time he hits the u on the ground, he's giving a little flutter, and that flutter, if you see on the top, is called ka eke loloi ka eke loloi, and it's just a rattle. You don't get a rattle. Go. I have maracas. No. <laughs> Kaekiloloi ka is the rattling of the fingers on the side of the ipu. So every time we get that u, we get. So let's try that kuku with the kaekiloloi. Have something to say? Or should I say, what should you write? That's fine. If you want to do a little bit of extra. I can do that. Yeah. So you don't have to just go da da. It can be da 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 dum. Da 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 dum. It, whatever your hand can handle. I know can handle right now. Okay, so let's do the cuckoo beat. Ready, set, with the ka, eke lo loi. And two, and three. Last one, and cool. Good, now let's make it a lot simpler. Let's go back to the first beat, which is the second one on the list there, the pa, is a combination of u and te. Again, you can add that little ka, eke lo loi, the little flutter every time you hit the u. So you get the u, te, and then repeat that. Ready? Set four times go. It's a one, a two, a three, and last time. And cool, cool means to stop or stand. Okay, the last beat that we need is called Kahela. That is the one third down on the list. It's gonna be a U te te. Okay, so we get a U on the ground and two te te's. That's it. Let's try four times Kahela. Go a one, a two, a three, and four. I think that went faster than you thought it was going to. So let's try one more time. Four, kahela, ready, go. One, a two, a three, and four. 
Okay, we're gonna keep this simple. We're gonna do the paw beat, the first or the second one on the list, four times. Then we're gonna do kahala beat, four times. Then we're gonna do kuku cool beat, just two times. Ready? Four paw, four kahala, two kuku. Cool cool. That's it for today. Ready? And here we paw. One, two, three. Kahala, double. One, two, three. Kuku. Cool cool. That's a one and two and stop. Very good. That's all the time we have for our ipu for today. Eames is going to put his away, but he's going to ku iluna. Stand on up. Sorry about that, daddy. Didn't mean to put you on the spot. Okay, here comes Eames. He's going to come right next to me, and he's going to do some basic steps. We don't really need to have the anything on the screen. So the basic steps that you're going to need for this one, Eames, you might need to take a little tiny step back. Yeah. Is that... Um, rocking chair gonna be in your way no. you can push it out a little bit I was gonna go right here. just push it yeah okay you can I'll, I'll fix it after you can stand there okay so this is our um, basic steps okay so we're just gonna go through it real quickly to start off with um, actually I think let's just j dive right in if you're not too ma with the basic steps don't worry Eames is going to be mirroring you now so when he goes this way that's when he comes this way, that's your right. And then when he goes that way, that's your left. So it should work out just to mirror him and follow, okay? So here we go. Hands on your waist. Bend your knees down. Couple sway. Push right, left. Just the hips. Right, left. Keep going on this. Now you'll notice that Eames' heels are stuck to the floor. They're not pedaling. There are different types of hula where you might lift that heel, but for our style, it's very flat-footed, very connected to the ground. Kaholo to the right, two, three, tap. Very good. Again, flat-footed, even steps, knees slightly bent, and his hands are at his waist. Fingers together. Ka'o, back to sway, push right, left, very good, right, left, shoulders are mostly staying still, they can move a little bit, but they shouldn't really be moving, Kaholo to the right, and left, and right, now we're going to try hella, point the foot, right, and left, right, and left, right, hella, left, Again, the whole foot touching the ground. Very good. Heels coming back together. Kaholo to the right and left. To the right and left and coop. Now, there is one combi <laughs> combination of steps that we need for our song, Hene Hene Koaka, which is a little bit tricky, but I think you'll be able to get it. Come stand right here so that you don't bang anything. The first thing he's going to do is take his this right foot. He's going to take that forward on the right foot. Yep. And then together. And then the left foot is going to go back. And then together. Okay, so that's the last part. Now, the part that comes before that is the same right foot that went forward is going to go to that side. It's what we call an O, turning to the side. So ready, set, O, going right, and stop. Then the left foot is, sorry, he, he knows what I'm doing, but you don't know. The left foot is going to come this way and then stop. So you get two sides, right side and left side. You're correct. Okay, so let's put that all together. We're going to go side, side, front, Back. We're kind of creating a little bit of a box step, and you will be able to follow him. So right foot is crossing over first. Ready? Bend your knees. Here we go. Right foot, turn. Left foot, forward. Going right foot, bend back. That's it. So that's a combination that you're going to need. Um, I'm just going to call it combo, okay? So we're going to do kaholo for a bunch of times, and then when I say combo... That means O and a Cavalu combo deal. Would you like fries with that? Okay, so when I say combo, you're gonna turn that way first. Okay, so let's start with Kaholo. Not yet. Kaholo. Okay, let's do the combo. Turn. Right foot, turn. 
Left foot forward, going forward, and then back. Kaholo to the right. Very good. How'd you do? Good? Okay, get ready. Here comes a combo. Go. And turn. And front. And back. Kaholo to the right. And left. And cool. Very nice job. I'm going to cool Iluna and I'm going to stand up because I want to demonstrate something with Eames for you. And that is the ummy. Now, the ummy step that we have, um, we're going to get uh, two ummies to the right and two ummies to the left. We're going to start with our right hand across our chest. Left hand is going to be locked into our waist. Now, when we do our ummy to the right, it's screwy because our hips start on the left. Stick that hip out to the left and your, your um, key collar, your hips are going to go towards the back and towards the right. And then skip the front, come back to the left. That's one. And then it goes back, right, left. Okay, so we get two of those. We get ami and ami, and then stop on this side because we're going to switch it. And then we get ami and ami. Okay, so save that basic step for a little bit later. We're going to put that in there. We're going to do two ami to the right, two ami to the left. Let's try it. Ready? And here we go. Ami right and stop right. Ami left, stop left. Okay, now the, the one thing I want to point out in this hula is we're going to do that ummy thing going into our combo step, right? So we're going to ummy two times to the right, and then on that second ummy, your left foot is going to pivot out. You see how my foot is turned out just like that? And then we're going to go into the combo step after that. We can just put our hands on our waist, okay? So let's try it. Right hand across your chest, left hand locked into your waist, looking over to the right side. Boy, that's a lot of things to remember. Bend your knees. One more. Ready? And ummy going. One and two. Switch. Three. Turn the foot out. Combo right. And left. We didn't even go over the hands. And forward and to the back. That's it. Okay, I think that's all of the steps that we need, but as we come to them, I will go, is there something else? You think that's it? Okay, I think that's all of the steps that we need. There might be. Okay, I'm gonna, oh, we did hella though. Yeah, yeah we did hella. Okay, before I let Eames go uh, sit down while I do a little bit of review, I wanted to show off our brand new hula shirts. Uh, we are not sponsored yet by Uniqlo, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> these these shirts are actually available for purchase at Hawaii's Uniqlo store. And um, the artist, the artist, can you see, is Brown. Heather Brown. Oh, I should flex or something while I show you. H. Brown. Um, Heather Brown is an artist that is from uh, that is well known here in Hawaii. And this is her style of uh, painting. She does a kind of a heavy outline and then bright, bright colors, just so happy. And there's a whole line of these t-shirts. I, like I said, I'm not sponsored, but I just like to share because who doesn't want a cute hula shirt? And these shirts are pretty comfortable. What would you say? Pretty comfortable? Yeah, he likes it. So anyways, uh, go check them out. Heather Brown support um, her project with Uniqlo and um, you can be part of our hula ohana and I didn't even have to pay to make these t-shirts. So yes, sir. That is water. You may have some. Okay. We are going to jump into our melee right now. The melee that we have been doing is called Hene Hene Ko Aka. Gosh, you'd think I planned this shirt color. Sheesh. <laughs> I swear I made the slide before I bought the shirt. And I wasn't looking for this particular color. Anyways, like you care. Okay. Hene Hene Ko Aka talks about a ride on a streetcar. Now, we don't have streetcars now. We don't even have rail, but let's not talk about that. Um, the streetcar was something that we had here in Hawaii. There were multiple lines. I believe there were five different lines of streetcars that ran in the early part of the 1900s. And this song was written in 1920-ish. Uh, it talks about a date. Uh, a fellow invited his his um ipo or his his beloved to come and join him to try out the new streetcar line that was running um down through waikiki and so they did this and he told her hene hene ko aka oh, i just love your smile and your laugh and this is this is what we do. We just enjoy one another. And I know that feeling because I love my husband's laugh. Um, and, you know, just being together, that's like, that's enough, you know. So this is what this first verse says. Hene, hene, ko aka. 
So for hene hene koaka, you're gonna go hene hene with your right hand. Koaka. By the way, this is a review, so if it feels fast, you can always go back and watch the others. After that, two hands are gonna come to your cheeks, and you're gonna flip over. Lea lea is to be so happy. So hene hene, your your laugh. Hene hene koaka. Your laugh is contagious, perhaps. Ko lea lea paha, and also maybe your smile. Hey me ama ama you're gonna turn to the side you're saying this is how we do it for you and I I hope you um, can understand that last line because it's in English very common for Hawaiians to mix between Hawaiian and English and back and forth okay so let's try hene hene koaka one more time just the hands two three from your lips hene hene koaka ko le a le a pa ha he me ama ama o ia for you and I. And then we're going to kaholo side and front, side and front. That's going to be our vamp in between. Okay, so that's the first first. Let's start to add some feet to that. So hene hene is going to be kaholo to the right. Here we go. Hene hene ko a ka. Is that what I did? Ko le a le a and then we're going to turn to the side. Then forward on the right. That's that combo step. For you and I. Holo. Side and front. One more time. From your lips. Turn to the side. He me ama ama o ia for you and I kaholo to the right and left. That's it. Okay. Yes, sir. Question from the peanut gallery. We cannot hear you on the microphone. So tell me what you want to ask. Oh, Eames has a question, so he's gonna come and ask it. Yes. What is your question, sir? Like when I was watching. It. Yes. You know, like when we were like going over the, like going into the combo step. Yes. I like it was ka ka what you were doing ka. Hene hene ko. Oh, did we change it? Yeah. Hene hene ko a ka ka o. Ko le a le a pa a. Oh. Oh, that's another verse. That's this one. Yeah. It's a different verse. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, I'm glad. He was he was asking, I thought you said it was an ami going into the sidestep, but that's another verse. We'll get to that. Okay, so that was first number one. Let's try it um, actually with some music, okay, so that we can do this little bit of a review. I know we have lots to cover, so let's let's see if we can at least get this in our heads. The beginning part of Hene Hene Ko Aka. How's our speaker working? 939 already? Holy moly. Okay. Do we have sound? Sorry. Okay, here we go. Kaholo. Hene hene. Your first verse. Okay, second verse, a quick review. Kawila Makeneki. We're talking about the mechanical nature of this streetcar. So we're gonna have a little dip and lift, and a dip and a lift. Now, if your streetcar was actually doing that, you probably should check it out or smooth out the road or something. But in Hula, it looks pretty. So we're gonna kahola to the right. Kawila Makeneki. Now, here comes that ami. Ho oni oni ko. Kino, turn to the side. Hey, me ama ama uia. You already know that part, okay? So this is Kawila Makeneki. I know that was a super fast review, but give it a try. Okay, here comes the mechanical car. Kawila Makeneki. Ami right. Oni, oni, and left. Turn side. Hey, me ama ama uia. Forward. That was verse two. 
Okay, now, if this feels really fast, you can always go back and watch previous weeks where we broke this down. But here comes verse number three. Now, we said we're going to go to kaka'ako. So we did very simply, kaka'ako, mako, we go. Mako, then we're going to eat the stew, the beef, beefy stew. Mama Chun's beefy stew, yeah? So two finger poi and stew, yum, yum. That's what we're going to get, okay? Ikaka ako kaholo to the right. Ikaka ako mako eat stew. Ayana ika pipi stew, let's go. Heme ama ama iya. Forward, right? For you and I. Let's go. Kaka ako. Kaka ako we go. we dove into Waikiki and we went down to Waikiki. If you watched, we talked about all the different um, Hawaiian names for the surf breaks and it was really fun. So go and, go and watch that if you want to learn the names for the old surf breaks. You know, now we have things like um, castles or number threes or, you know, all these kinds of things. I don't even know where those places are, but I, I saw on the internet that that's what they're called. <laughs> But we have Hawaiian names for these places down at Waikiki. It's not just all called Waikiki, okay? So for Iwaikiki, we're going to wave our hands from the left across to the right, and then you're going to bring it in mako for us, yeah? So let's go to Waikiki. Iwaikiki mako. Now, this one is a little tricky because we're going to go for a splish splash in the... Wish wash in the, in the water. <laughs> I don't know what. Okay. Oh, ana ike kai. And then heme ama ama is easy, right? So iwaiki ki, you're gonna start with kaholo. You're moving towards the right with your feet, but your hands start on the left. Okay. So let's give it a try. Ready and waiki ki. Iwaiki ki mako. Now we're gonna splish splash with a hella step. Your right foot goes out while your hands come to your left shoulder. And then switch. And then we're going to take a dip in the ocean on this right side. That's a ka'o and a left side. So now there's lots of steps all jammed into one. This is hella two times. Hella, hella, and then ka'o right, ka'o left. There's that hella that you were remembering, yeah, Eames? Awana. So we're going to ready, go right and left, right and left. Now, I want to point out that term that I just said, awana. Awana. A lot of people know the word awana um, to be modern hula, right? If you watch the Merry Monarch, awana night is modern hula night. But in this sentence right here, it talks about swimming. And awana actually does mean sort of like wandering or swimming off, off the beaten track, right? So to awana is to kind of go off. Do something different. Go off the, the straight line. So if kahiko is like, okay, we have to do it this certain way. Awana is just splish splash. <laughs> do whatever you like, right? So um, I just think that's kind of interesting because people think awana means modern. But awana doesn't mean modern. It just means not traditional. Splish splash. Do whatever you like. Okay, so <laughs> awana ikekai. Let's take a, take a splish splash in the ocean. Let's try something new, okay? So iwaikiki, one more time, holo to the right, go. Iwaikiki mako hella, awana ikekai, turn side then. Heme ama ama uia, forward right, for you and I. Okay, let's try that much with the music. Waikiki, let's go. Waikiki. Okay, so I know 
know that was really, really fast. And I believe that we may have a question. Yeah. So here comes our question. I love these live questions that we can do. Just got to clear whatever's on the screen so that we can see it. Please, can you show the way your feet prepare to go to right or left? Yeah, that that's like a common question. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you the Vavai cam. The word Vavai, of course, means feet. So here's the Vavai cam for Koko Koko. I'm going to show you how to prepare to turn to this way. So if we're doing a Kaholo step, then we're going to do a kaholo to the right is the normal kaholo. And then kaholo to the left is normal until here. The foot is going to turn out perpendicular, turning at a 90 degree angle. Then you're going to shift your weight onto this foot. Then the right foot is going to turn to the side and turn to the side and then forward and then back. Okay, so let's try that version with the kaholo. Okay, kaholo to the right. Ready with me? Here we go. Holo right and left turn. Then right foot turns, left foot and forward, then back. Yeah? Now, I have to point out, you need a little bit of flexibility through this area here because after you turn here, this foot is supposed to stay flat. You're going to go here, and then you're turning. Look, my feet are almost all the way turned out like ballet style, but you don't stay here for more than a millisecond. You're here. Boom, 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 turn. Yeah, but if you don't have this flexibility, then this is going to be really hard, okay? But you don't stay here like ballet, right? But you're going to go here and turn. If you need to, you can actually cheat the back foot a little bit. Okay, watch this back foot. You can go forward. Watch this turn in the back. Turn, turn, and then one, watch my back foot. Turn, turn, if you need to, because some people, if you don't have the, the flexibility for the turn, then it's gonna be, you're gonna feel like you're falling down, okay? So let's try one more time, that kaholo to the right. It's kaholo to the right. Get ready to turn. It's a right foot turn and a left foot, then forward right and then back, okay? Now we also go into this step from an ami. So let's try the ami step. Right hand is gonna be actually up above your chest, but you're gonna go to the right ami, stop the hip, then you're gonna switch to the left ami. On the end of it, you're gonna turn out the foot, and then you're gonna do side turn, side turn, forward, and then back. Okay, so that's if we're coming from an ami. Let's try that one more time on the ami step. Ready? And ami going right and right, left and turn, right foot turn, left foot front, right foot forward, then left foot back. Yeah? The other transition that we do is coming from two hella to ka'o. So we're gonna hella right. Hella left, then ka'o, sway, and sway. See that turn out again? Forward, I mean, right, left, and then come forward, right, back, left. So let's try that combination one more time from the hella, hella. Am I doing the right part? Is this the part that she's hoping for? Okay. Two hella, two ka'o, ready? And here we hella one, hella two, ka'o, right, Ka'o left, and then right foot, and left foot, then forward, and then back. Okay? All right, let's come back. Nobody wants to look at my vavai anymore. <laughs> okay, so I hope that was helpful. You can kind of go back and watch those when the replay becomes available right after this, and you can kind of break it down to see how those feet work. Hopefully that helped. Koko, koko. Thank you for the question. Okay, we have a little bit of time, so I'm going to dive into our new verse, which is Pauku E Lima, verse number five. Verse five says, let's go down to Kapahulu. Now, Kapahulu, though what we know of Kapahulu is it's a road. It's a road that takes you from up in the like Manoa Valley area down 
towards Waikiki, and that road itself is called Kapahulu. Now, the word Kapahulu actually means um, soil that has been sort of all of the nutrients have been spent. Like, if you've planted a lot of things in soil, you're supposed to let it rest for a little while so you can grow new things. Kapahulu is spent soil or kind of wasted or pow soil, okay? So Kapahulu is not a great thing. Um, I think maybe the area that was there in Kapahulu, it was sort of like over, over farmed, over developed, and then so it was kind of called Kapahulu. It's not really great for growing things anymore because the nutrients have been sapped from this land. So um, it, it also was the name of a stream. There was a Kapahulu stream that ran sort of along that way, probably predating the road that led from the mountain to the ocean. So let's take a look. I think I have a map. Do I have an, a new map of Kapahulu? Oh, not that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is, um, this is a map, and this map comes from the territory of Hawaii. It was done by Montserrat, is the person who did it, and Montserrat is the name of a, another road that leads more d by Diamond Head. Um, anyways, this is an old map of uh, Honolulu area, and if you can see, I don't, I'm not sure if you can see, but right here where my finger is pointing, um, above Diamond Head, this is Diamond Head right here, above Diamond Head, about in this area, that whole area is called Kapahulu. But also, if you go up here, going up the valley is also called Kapahulu. They called it Kapahulu Tract. So Kapahulu is not just a road or not just a stream, um, but it is that whole thing, Kapahulu. Now, it's kind of tricky because this next verse that we're talking about doesn't talk about stuff that would be happening upland. So I don't think they're talking about this upland part of Kapahulu, even though Kapahulu was this whole area in 1920. What I think they're talking about is if you follow the stream down, now past Diamond Head area, right over here, okay, kind of around here, um, I should have put a little pin on it, where the Kapahulu stream entered into the ocean was called the Kapahulu storm drain, a really great name for it, but all of the water and all of the nutrients and all of the, the spent soil or whatever would come down the stream and then dump into the ocean, and actually that made for a very rich environment of salt water and fresh water and all the goodies that were coming down the stream into this area, and that caused this area right there to be rich in another rich uh, resource, which is limu. So um, let me show you a couple of types of limu. This is the limu that we're going to talk about in our hula today. This is called the lipoa. And the lipoa, the word li stands for limu. So we have li pe'e pe'e, li poa, li blah, 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 blah. Okay, so the li poa is actually found a little bit further out, a little bit deeper. Usually li poa, you're going to gather by being on a small boat. You can't just pick it like right on the ocean, I mean on the beach, but you have to go out just a little bit, maybe on a boat. But the Lipoa is famous for Waikiki because that smell would come up from the beds of seaweed down below the ocean and you could smell it all the way from like the Moana. Actually, all over the island we had Lipoa, but it was really famous in Waikiki at that time. And it was because of all of these nutrients that were flowing into the, um, the ocean. Now we have lots of sunscreen in the ocean, and so it's not so good for the lipoa. Can't really find it there too much. So, okay, so that's a lipoa. I wanted to show you a couple of other types of limu because we did have other types of limu. This one right here is called the limu kala. And the kala is important because the kala is, was the one that they used to wear in lays. Um, and the reason they would wear it in, in a lay is because the word kala means to remove or even to um, like apologize. When you hurt someone, bump them in the aisle, you say, oh, kalamai, kalamai. Yeah, please forgive me. 
yeah? So this limu color, people would wear this limu. They would even use it for ho'oponopono sessions where you sit in a circle. They would take this limu and they would say what they're sorry for and they would say what they're hoo-hoo about. There's something making them angry. Maybe their mom said something to them and their brother, you know, punched them and they say, oh, this is what is really uh, sitting on my soul. And then they would take a little bite of this salty seaweed and they pass it to the next person. And then the next person would say, well, the reason I did that is because you're being mean to me and, you know, I know that we're brother and sister, so we still love each other. And then they would eat a little bit of salty. And they pass it on to the mom and they would say, well, the reason that I yelled at you is because you were being blah, 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 blah. And, you know, I was just looking out for your goodwill. And so then they would eat a little bit, pass it on, pass it on, pass it on. By the time they all eat salty limo and they all work out their problems, then they're color. They're all forgiven. Yeah? Who are color? So... A color my limu color. This is all related. This is a different type of limu. Do we need any limu color? Are you still mad at us for going on vacation without you? I'll get you some limu. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay, last limu before I run out of time. This one is um, called the limu manawea. Manawea is the most. Um, I guess it's it's almost similar to the Japanese ogo. Yeah, so the word ogo, um, this is the type of limu that you see most commonly in Hawaiian poke. And actually, there is a huge demand for this ogo type limu manawea. Manawea is the actual Hawaiian uh, variety of ogo. And um, it's what hugely sought, o sought after because there's this big boom of people wanting to have poke restaurants all around the world. And so this is the Hawaiian version. It's a little too hard to grow it in huge quantities. So this is not the one that we ship out, but if you can find it here in Hawaii, this is like the Hawaiian version of ogo that you see in most poke called the limu manawea. Okay. So all of that because our verse, verse number Five says, let's go to Kapahulu and eat some lipoa. So this is the, the limu from the deep ocean. I don't think that they are finding it up in the mountains, which is why I think the Kapahulu that we're talking about is down by the mouth of the stream, more than you ever wanted to know. But anyhow, are you ready to learn this verse? Because we're almost out of time. Okay, so e kapa hulu, you're going to push your hands down from the center, and this is the, the soil that's kind of wapal. It's no good anymore. So e, oh sorry, you're going to open it. e kapa hulu, yeah, check it out. Kind of junk. Okay, e kapa hulu, then mako, you're going to reach out, mako. Yeah, so slightly different movement. e kapa hulu, mako. Then ayana ikalipo, you're going to make your basket with the left hand, you're going to pick the basket, not pick the basket, pick the limu, put them in the basket, and pick the limu, put them in the basket. Now, if you were watching Kananaka last week, last month, whatever, uh, yesterday, if you were at Hula, <laughs> this is the same motion. You're going to pick, and you're going to pick, okay? We're going to pick on two sides, so hopefully this doesn't mess you up too. Okay, then hey, meama amauia, we already know. Okay, so i kapahulu, you're going to kaholo to the right. E, oh sorry, let's kaholo. Ready, go. E kapahulu ma. You are going to open. Thank you. Ready, go. E kapahulu ma ko. Now, we're not going to turn to the side. We're just going to hold the basket. We're going to pick this way. So we're kaholoing to the right and we're going to pick as we go. Pick and pick. Then, he me ama ama. He me ama ama. E a forward. For you and I. How's that? Yeah? Let's go pick some yummy seaweed. We're almost, we're pretty much out of time, but we will just do it anyways. Kaholo. E kapahulu. E kapahulu ma. Pick that seaweed. One more time. E kapahulu. Open. Pick. Sorry, I wasn't supposed to turn. <laughs> I messed myself up. Follow. That's it. Okay. 
All right. I know we're right at 10.01, but I want to make sure that we do a full review. So we're going to do that. We're going to take a little extra time. If you need to jump off, I want to say thank you for being with us today. I know we're past our time. We're going to do a review. Um, we actually get to do each verse three times. Um, so we're going to do verse one, two, three, four, five. That's 15 times of verses. This is your workout for the day. So start your exercise, whatever buttons, and let's do all of Hene Hene Ko Aka. Ready? You good? Okay. Kaholo. Hene Hene from your mouth. I love your smile and your laugh.
thank you so much for those of you that stuck with us for the review. I hope that was helpful and got your heart pumping a little bit. Who knew riding streetcar was such a cardiovascular activity? Um, Eames is going to get ready to go do poi balls out on the slightly wet deck out there. But before we go, I wanted to let you know that we will be a part of the Na Hula Festival coming up here. The city and county of Honolulu has been putting on the Na Hula Festival for the past uh, like 80 plus years since 1940 um, and this year they have decided to keep it virtual and so our halal is listed right there halal napua halakuno wikekai we will be performing in the nahula festival i'll post more information about how you can view it the website is there but it's so small i'll post it to our website so you can see it we have three groups that are going to be performing so let me show them off really quickly do we have those pictures of them these are my three in-person um, groups that we were able to film i was really hoping to get to do some filming with you all from around the world but we're gonna have to save that for another time because we just ran out of time go get ready to um, but these are our ladies um, that have been coming for, I don't know, you know, like 11 years. So these are, this is my wahine class. And then on this side, we have our brand new keiki class, 14 keiki from the age of two all the way up to the age of uh, seven, I believe, in this class. And then we have our intermediate keiki, a little bit older class. That's Im's class. They'll be featured also. So we're very excited. We're putting that performance together to be shared with the Nahula Festival. And um, yeah, so we'll, we hope that you'll check that out on their YouTube. We'll probably post it to ours too, but go check it out on, on there so that they feel like they have some, you know, friends around the world. But anyways, thanks again. Sorry to go a little bit long, but I miss you. So happy to be back together. And until next time, ahui ho.